Hi, hello, it's Pip here from QueenPipCards.com. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we are talking more zany zebras. Oh, sorry, that's a bit bright. Um, <laughs> I love my zany zebra stamp set. It's just so much fun to work with. Uh, I've got a couple of really, really fast cards for you today. Okay, so uh, I love the brights and I thought I would do a couple of cards with the real brights cardstock, but also bringing in a little bit of um, a couple of the in colours. So this is Magenta Madness, this is Granny Apple Green, okay, and then we're also going to play with Bumblebee and Pacific Point. So I'm going to do two cards, one in blue and yellow, one in pink and green, okay, real fun cards for you. Just a couple of slight differences between the two, uh, but these are birthday cards. We always need birthday cards all the time. So many people having birthdays, especially in July. July's been a busy month for birthdays, not only in our in my own household with myself and Sean, but also lots of friends and family having birthdays in July. So I just got a bit of fluff on there. So first of all, I'm inking up my little zany zebra and I've picked this one to do first, which is this little coy looking one who's just looking a little bit back over his shoulder to say hello how are you uh, and we're just going to pop that down this is a circle I've cut out of whisper white cardstock just use my circle dies to cut that out and um, he's really cute fits on there perfectly we need an extra small bit of cardstock and I'm going to stamp the happy birthday in the magenta madness on that pop that out of the way for a second and this is such a bright pink. It's almost like a neon pink. It's so pink. I love it. Just love it. And then I'm going to take this end of the cardstock here and just pop a little hat on there because I don't need that. So I'm just going to put the hat on there. OK, and then I'll clean those in a second. Right. So then what we're going to do is take some Granny Apple Green cardstock. Uh, and this I've just cut it in half and folded it in half at the top here. So it's a tenth fold, but you can do it at the bottom if you wish. It's up to you. And then I've cut some strips. These are from the Bright 6x6 pack and the uh, In Colour 6x6 pack of cards of papers. So you get them in all the colours of the... I was going to say all the colours of the rainbow. They are the colours of the rainbow, but they're actually all the colours of the, um, the actual colour family. So either all the In Colours or all of the... Um, brights in this case and I'm just laying them down on my card like this edge to edge make sure it's edge to edge and we're going to build this up like so like so and like so and one's going to be it's going to be a little bit um, closer a bit more of a gap at the top uh, than it is to the bottom that's just how I've decided to do this one so this is the Magenta Madness. As, you, as I said, it's so bright. And I love these dots, which are one of the designs on the papers this year. They do different designs every year with these papers, and I just love how they come out. And I've sort of done it so that they're the opposite way around, if you can see what I mean. They're a bit zizzy. This one's the same way. You can have them going one way or the other, it depends. And then this way... Oh, I don't know how I've managed it. No, yeah, that's right. One way, one of them goes the opposite direction, if you see what I mean. But they all kind of go up and down, so it's... They're not quite the same. These don't, these nearly match, but not quite. But these don't match at all, which is nice. So they're all kind of a bit different. Hmm. I love them. They're just brilliant. Now, I have left mine just a trifle long, because sometimes when you cut the papers... Um, you know, some edges go edge to edge and others don't go quite correctly. Just just because your eye can't be perfect at cutting 14 point, uh, no, 10 and a half in this case, perfectly. So I just let them overlap just a smidge and then I just go back in and I just trim. As long as you make sure you're not actually trimming the cardstock, you're pretty much going to be okay. And it just means that you've got that extra wiggle room when you need it. Okay, so there's that. Uh, but it's a bit bright. I mean, it is, it's supposed to be, it's bright, but I'm going to tone it down uh, just with a little um, piece of vellum. So this is a piece of vellum and I'm going to attach it in the middle here. Now I'm going to use my stamp in seal 
plus this is the stampin seal plus and you can tell it's plus because it's blue i'm just going to put a bit sort of in here where i'm going to have my circle I'm desperately trying not to put it anywhere else because otherwise it will show through the vellum and we don't want that happening so we're going to put the vellum square down here i'm going to bring it right over to this edge like so there we go then we're going to and you see here you can see that through because it's the seal plus but that's okay because we're going to put the going to put our little oh i meant to stamp him not in black but i meant to stamp him in pink oh well he'll be in pink for now we'll do the other one the other way around <laughs> never mind right i'm going to chop this off about here so it's about even there we go and then that's sort of going to go across there like so okay and then we're going to have a little bow using the um baker's twine from the playful pets trim combo duo combo duo no <laughs> playful pets ribbon combo pack there we go that's what i'm trying to say I'll do that trim this off here quite long i think we'll have that so that we can dangle that underneath the happy birthday it's kind of going to go about there ish okay dimensionals to attach our zebra so i'll just get these going and obviously no soggy middles make sure you've got one in the middle probably could have done an extra one around the outside but it's okay we'll survive make sure you're going to cover all of your glue when you pop him down I don't know why I think it's a him but I think it is I might just trim this just a smidge smaller a bit down there I don't want to cut off quite so much of my zebra so I'm just trimming this down this is a two centimeter piece I'm just going to trim it down to about a centimeter there we go oh yeah that's better and then we'll pop just a couple of a couple of these along here but we won't do this end just leave that end it'll just sit nicely on here like so I quite like his little tail so I want to put it sort of there-ish like so there we go and then a glue dot for this is the best way of attaching this just roll the glue dot like just stick it down and then just roll it up okay and then I think I might thread one of these through behind, like so, and that one like so, and then just sort of stick that over the edge there like that. There we go. Yeah, so that's the first card. <laughs> I told you it was quick, really quick. Um, so that's that one. And then the second one, that's nice. It, it sort of softens the brights, but it also makes them show up quite well. The second one I'm going to do is in, as I said, Bumblebee and Pacific Point. This time I've changed it up a bit, stepped it up a little and used a die cut um, stitch nested, the, the nested, the stitched nested label dies. Get that right in a minute. Uh, and this time I'm going to use this horse. No, not horse. Zebra. Not a horse, but it's a zebra. It's got stripes. <laughs> You know what I meant. Um, <laughs> we're going to stick that one down. This one I am going to stamp in the bumblebee, or am I going to stamp it in the Pacific? I might stamp it in the Pacific actually. Yeah, let's go bright blue for our zebra this time, or just a horse that's having some paint. <laughs> now he will sort of his tail will kind of hang off a little bit, but don't worry about that too much because he'll just go over the dots, like so. He still just about fits in. Um, doesn't he look cute? I like him like that. Okay, so that's that. Now we can make his his stripes sparkle a little bit. I'm going to use the Wink of Stella, which should be in everybody's kit. And we're just going to bring that down. It'll start to blur the Pacific point, but that's okay. That just makes it a bit more solid lines. Oh, and up onto his mane. This is his mane. It'll give him sparkly hair. I don't know why they're he's. Could be a she. She could have sparkly hair like 
I have pink here. There we go. So we just want his stripes to be a little bit more sparkly. And we'll give his tail a bit of a sparkle too. And um, Wink Costello just literally adds a tiny, tiny bit of, of uh, glimmer. So it just, I don't know if you can, hopefully you can see that shining a little bit. But yeah, it's pretty. Now this time I've decided not to go for the four, but to just go with the three. So I'm doing three, um, three pieces, slightly bigger. And all the measurements are over on my blog, so please do hop over and have a look at that. And you know, if you want to get any tutorials from me, I do do tutorials for everyone who signs up for my newsletter and comes along to my Treats on Tuesday section. Um, Treats on Tuesday is where I give everybody a tutorial free every week. Uh, and it's fun. So, they're, And they're tutorials that you you won't find normally anywhere else, or if you do, you'll only find them sort of in part. They won't be fully explained as it were. Sometimes I do do ones that I fully explain but um, most of the time they're, they're exclusive just to that group. This time I'm going to do it with slightly wider at the bottom, not massive, just slightly wider. But yeah, so I mean I might give this one out as a tutorial because I've not done all the measurements on here but I'll do the measurements on my blog properly so probably so I probably won't be doing that. Um, as a tutorial uh, but if I did like if I do a blog hop or something where I don't share my instructions then yeah then you might get that or you might just get a card that I've decided to add to my collection that hasn't been anywhere <laughs> or just 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 a photo bit up I'm going to do the same again and add the um, vellum square okay because the vellum square works just as well but this time I'm going to bring it in I'm going to bring it in now I'm going to hold it still there that's it this one's going to then come here okay so this means that the twine I'm going to wrap it all the way around this time because this isn't so big to hold this down you can see it's starting to lift a little bit already so this time I'm going to bring the twine in and just tie it in a bow sort of here-ish. So it's going to run behind my zebra. Oops. Just sort of helps to hold that vellum piece down. You can always use different tricks for the vellum. Nice. Okay, so then we'll pop him down there, more dimensionals, but make sure you're not going to go over the twine in the middle. So We'll hold it about sort of there-ish is where the twine's going to be. So we'll pop one on either side and then one down here. So we have no soggy middles, but that centerpiece isn't going to then get caught up and go over the twine and cause a ridge because we don't want that. Take that off. I'd like to Put it up so I can see it. It's to come down just a smidgy. There and there. There we go. Oops. Stay straight. Straight is good. There we go. There we go. Nice. That's him. And then we'll do the happy birthday again. Uh, but this time, oh, I didn't do a hat. I forgot my hat on the last one. We'll come back to that. Um, this one, we're not going to do a hat, but we are going to stamp happy birthday in Bumblebee. So we'll just clean that off. Can't have pink in your, in your Bumblebee ink pad. That wouldn't go down well. Okay, there we go. It's a lovely font. Bouncy. This little guy needs to be cut out for the other card, which I forgot to do. Silly me. And I'm going to colour the other one. Granny Apple. I'm going to colour this, the little circles on this hat, Granny Apple Green. I knew I had my Granny Apple Green ink pad out for a reason. I was going to do that with the Winkostella. But actually, 
while I'm here I can just do them with this. So this is my little right marker. And we're just going to have green dots and we'll just put a bit of green behind that memento there. Okay, put that to one side for a second while we finish this one off. Um, just going to cut that down there like so and then pop some dimensionals. This time we're not worrying about uh, any of the twine getting in the way because we've tied that higher up. And so this time we're just popping it in sort of there-ish. I might go edge to edge with this one. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Happy birthday with a lovely little sparkle. There we go. So that's the bumblebee one and the Pacific point. And then let's just bring this one back in and we're just going to attach his hat with a little mini little mini dimensional. These ones hopefully will fit, but if not we can always trim. I think we might need to oh no, we just just about get him on there, I think. Just. And the little hat sits on there. Just like that. There we go. So now we have two birthday cards looking very different I have to say even though they're based on the same sort of fundamental pieces I love how you can change the design like that you know you can do you can do the same strips and a bit of vellum and strips and a bit of vellum and then you've just changed up the colors and the circle for the die and yeah it just looks different doesn't it anyway I hope you've enjoyed that as I say if you want more come and join me on my newsletter um, subscribe to my mailing list and you'll get lots of more fun information and you can also subscribe to me here on YouTube and come and see me every week. I'm here twice a week. Alrighty, thanks ever so much for watching. It's Pip here from QueenPipCards.com. Thanks, bye.